much. And joining us now is Nina Totenberg, an award-winning legal affairs correspondent for NPR who has covered the court for decades. Hi, Nina. Good morning. Uh, I, I wonder, morning. first, before we get into the short list, whether you feel Justice Breyer um, kind of felt that pressure. There was a time last year, last term, there were activists at the court with loudspeakers saying, Justice Breyer, <laughs> retire. Do you think it got to him? No. I mean, the man was chief counsel for the Judiciary Committee and before he became a judge. He understands what's going on. He understands politics. And he understands that um, by the time this term is over, he will be very close to 84 years old. So I think that ultimately he knew that it was just it was time and uh, that he shouldn't wait anymore. Mm -hmm. Last term, I think. I, I think pressuring him had a, a contrary effect, if anything, and that he thought he was doing good work at the court and he was able to achieve some consensus. That started to fall apart this year. He could see a conservative supermajority on the march on everything from uh, from abortion to affirmative action to uh, religion and guns. And I think he thought it was time for a new generation. Well, in the moments we have, I said it was a short list. It's a pretty short list, actually, of judges. Yes, that judges that are, are being considered. And there's top two contenders, Judge Ketanji Brown-Jackson, federal judge, and California Supreme Court Justice Leandra Kruger, both with impeccable legal credentials. They've got right. the resumes. Tell us about these candidates real quickly. Well, Ketanji Brown-Jackson was a a federal district court judge for eight years, then in 2021 was appointed to the D.C. Court of Appeals, uh, which is the same court that several of her colleagues, were she to be nominated, came from. The, the, the last one uh, being Justice Kavanaugh. Uh, so she really has a, a, you know, a perfect kind of background for this. She's, um, she is, I think, the great-granddaughter of slaves, uh, she's married to a surgeon, not a lawyer. Always a good thing, says <laughs> one person married to a surgeon. Um, Leandra Kruger is on the California Supreme Court. She was hired by Paul Clement, the solicitor general in the Bush administration, to be an assistant solicitor general, then went on to serve in the Obama administration for six more years, uh, and then was offered this job on the California Supreme Court, where she has been um, a very uh, respected justice. So you have two African-American nominees, potentially. Either of them, I don't think you could quibble with their backgrounds. And unless you came up with something that we don't know about, and of course we know uh, confirmation fights often involve coming up with something you don't know about, uh, they should be able to attract some, probably not a lot, but some Republican appointees in addition to uh, Republican senators, in addition to all of the Democrats. All right. Well, Nina Totenberg, we know you'll be there as you have been for years. It's good to have you, especially on a day like this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.